This is an example of interpreting the slope coefficient in a linear and variables model. So the model is something like this, where y equals an intercept plus slope times first regressor plus a different slope times second regressor and so on for however many regressors and then some sort of error term. Um, again, as in the book, this could be a conditional mean model or a structural model or a linear projection model. Um, we're not distinguishing between those in this case. We're just trying to think about uh, how this beta 1 slope coefficient is interpreted in terms of the relationship between y and x1 uh, mathematically. So because of this linear and variables uh, setup, if we hold fixed all of this other stuff, there's no x1 over there. So it might shift things up or down, uh, but if we're only thinking about changes in x1, uh, x1 doesn't show up over there, so that part we can basically just ignore in terms of interpreting beta 1, the slope coefficient on x1. So what we have is our sort of standard algebra equation here, right? There's some intercept, and again, the intercept will get combined with the other parts, and then there's a slope. So if we think about you know, x1 going here and y going here, and to make it more concrete, we can imagine the case where y is somebody's wage. So it's in the units of dollars per hour. So you could make $10 per hour, $20 per hour. And imagine x1 is years of education. Just write years. Uh, then, sort of from algebra, we know the slope is telling us if we move one unit to the right, which in this case is one year, then how much up do we go? So this is beta 1 the slope times one year. And we can see this is a vertical distance, so it must be in the units of y, which are dollars per hour. So if we imagine, for example, uh, beta 1 is 5, we could ask, well, what are the units of beta 1? Well, if we move the year part over to the right side, you can see the units of beta 1 will be dollars per hour per years of education. So beta 1 uh, in this example would be 5 then the units are dollars per hour per year of education. So sometimes those units look a little funny, like we have hours and years in the same uh, term, but uh, it should all work out if you think about multiplying beta 1 times x1. And then the other feature of this linear and variables setting is that it's the same slope. 
regardless of the starting point of x1. So it's just always five more or however many more dollars per hour every time we move to the right by one unit. It doesn't change. And again, because of that, more generally, if we wanted to say, you know, what if x1 goes to the right by, let's say, three years, then just as in algebra, our change in y associated with the three-year increase in x1 will be the change in x times the slope. So in this case, we'd have three years times five dollars per hour per year. So you can see the year cancels out and then we'll multiply the 3 by the 5, and that'll give us $15 per hour for this vertical part, the change in y, associated with a 3-year increase in x1.